So it's going to be a fast-packed affair here. We are going to have Pro 100 there up against Na'Vi. It's a pick, and we'll see whether they can come out on top and find the 2-0. But it's Pro 100 that are looking dangerous out there right now. Look out for Yakinda, who Ooh. looks to be hitting some very impressive shots on the CT side, especially. Uh, but they'll start on the T4. Here. Two smokes, Molotov, and a flashbang available. World Editor and Nickelback to Yildenberg. We'll see whether Boomich will be able to... Work with Simple here. The Xbox Smokes comes down. Means Simba has a bit of vision towards shot, but the Molotov removes that fact. That's very cautious stuff for a pistol round. So taking Cat quickly now. They still have a smoke and two flashes. They can set up an A set piece here. Waylander's going to throw out that smoke now, and the flashes to follow. So the A hit is on. One chance for Simple. He bides his time. Takes his shots, nothing's connecting just yet. Well, that it challenges, it's Yukanda to draw blood and the flank from Boomich does connect as well. Will force the plant to be more safe onto the site. Demasic getting the info that Boomich has progressed up short. There is a kit on Perfecto. Bomb down and we'll see Boomich wait for his teammates to coordinate their retake here. They have got a kit, a flashbang available as well, but Yukinda will be pulling one back and that's gonna be from the car position where he spawn. Great stuff so far, Pro 100. Look like they're destined to win this pistol round. Just Perfecto remaining. Yes, he has the kit, but no time, no space. Does steal one away before he goes down there, but it will be three players surviving on the T side here. Fantastic start for Pro 100, uh, but we do know the force buy usually follows here on Dust 2. You'll see Scouts, CZs, Deagles, and uh, knowing Na'Vi, they're almost certainly going to purchase up into this one. Go to 10 from Boomage on the retake there, but Simple went down first, and he has been the shining light for Na'Vi, posting 30-plus frags on Inferno. And the There's scout. the force. Yeah. Simple with the scout is just as dangerous as Simple with the orb here, so let's see if he can take it to World Edit in the early stages. Very aggressive stuff. World Edit's even been tagged. Yeah, that's going to force him off the line, so Simple wins that duel. Oh, the flash was so perfectly timed. Electronic ate it full flash. Dima 6 there as well with his AK. And this force by very short-lived for Na'Vi. Now their corpses litter long. Simple will be flashed off. He won't be able to catch Dima 6 descent. Perfecto would have to get multiple kills right here. And oh, they've just scoped away at the wrong time. So transitioning from long towards the B-bomb site here. Perfecto having cleared up a tunnels. Unless he gets any footsteps, he's not going to be looking the right way as all eyes are currently drawn towards long and top of middle here. So this is ships in the night. They're going to pass each other. And well, Na'Vi might have an opportunity to at least hold on to their weapons once this bomb goes on down. But I think they're going to get a bit of a rude awakening once they hear the bomb planted. Yeah, could be onto something there. Simple. Confirms they've actually made their way in towards B. So this round has been concluded, to be honest with you. Five on the three, they've got no kit. Only a couple of scouts here. Some damage inflicted, but should be no reason to challenge here. Flamey, beautiful shot there toward the pit. But uh, the fact still remains. They can't really go for this at all. That's a scout that at least Perfecto could go and pick up. And there's also some dropped pistols on the long corner. So if Simple and Flamey are able to grab those at well, they can drop them across next round and they can have a second bite of the cherry, at least as far as this buy is concerned. So not the worst thing yeah. in the world. It hasn't turned out that terribly for them. They've got Desert Eagles on a 5-7 and three scouts. It's actually pretty viable going forward here. Only one kill found, but that's absolutely fine. It makes the... Third round here, a lot more interesting. Usually it will just have USPs or P2000s in this particular one, but this one's certainly got a bit more bite to it. Pro 100 to get their second round, but they're not out of the woods just yet. The third will be a difficult one here. Electronic and Boomage will be thrown over the pistols, I'd imagine. So look out for them getting a Deagle or a 5-7. Dima just showing us how easy it was to take that long Ooh. position. Great shot from Flamey. Gave them a chance here in round number three. So they're the Deagles for Electronic and Perfecto. Flame will keep his 5-7. It's a pretty good buy, you know? Like, if these yeah. scouts can find tags and the deagles can finish it off, or even if the nades are able to do a little bit of damage in transition, this could be a Na'Vi round. So let's wait and see. Flamey will take a bit of early damage. It looks like Long is again the port of call. That's the opening they need. And if another one was to come through, wow, fully blind. Your kinder's got them both. The flash from World Edit softening the blow. But they leap out and want to take some space. It's a whole lot of it. So pushing towards the tunnels, Perfecto realizes he needs to get some information for his squad. Quite reminiscent of what we'll be seeing from Na'Vi or have seen in the past. It's going to be some long control early. Smoke to enable their drop into pit. And now regrouping, it seems, the majority of their resources for the mid-push. Yes, 
It's going to be interesting if Na'Vi can deal with their own strategy on the gun rounds because we were talking about just the other day the way that Astralis were looking to do it with saved Molotovs. So I'm curious if Na'Vi are going to give them long control and then try and fight in the post plant. Ooh. Taking a lot of damage and oh, a grenade gets dunked. him. For sure, it gets him. So it will be simple. Very intelligent play there. The 5 7 defending short. Need to try and survive here. Not going to happen. Three versus two. Simple. He's down towards long. He recovers the AK 47, but they can go for a short plant here. There shouldn't be a target for him. Spots one planting, but the bomb will go down. He finds himself another HE, and that one does good damage as well. That's Waylander and World Edit chunked down. Nickelback, however, finding one and no chance. Waylander quickly finds his first kill of our second map. And Pro 100, they convert off the pistol. They've got three players on 6K pre-buy. And this was how it started. Boomich finding one, but Yakinda doing one better. Now, bear in mind, you'd assume on paper that this would be a foregone conclusion. Na'Vi run away with this series, no problem. But both of these teams have been tested by Virtus Pro this week. And it's Pro 100 that came out 2-0. And Na'Vi, that actually had a deficit there. They got battered and bruised. So not an amazing form right now. Yes, Na'Vi won the first map, but a little more complicated than the scoreline suggests. Ooh. They missed the Xbox smoke there, so they're going to have to go through their own smoke to mid doors. Big problem. Simple takes one, sees the other. That's the bomb spot of the call to come in. Looks good for Perfecto. Simple will get overcome, and that frag into B could be a problem. World edit. He has the bomb, he has the sight. And he looks to have the plant regrouping. Boomich and Electronic. A smoke. No kit visible for me. I don't know if there's one littered around the site. Could be a problem if they take their time here. He's got a smoke, flash, and a Molotov here. But does he want to throw any of them? The moment he does, they'll know where he is. They'll get an idea of his positioning. And now, 3-0. Big round in for Na'Vi. It's going to be a flashbang going over. Well done, though. He'll have to control the door and... The window. It's they both well. go through the former, and it will be working out for a round for Na'Vi, but he makes it very expensive for sure. He gets a bomb planted there, takes down two of the players. Wasn't quite enough to win the round, but still, Na'Vi will be very modest going forward now. And let's be honest, that B hold was actually pretty dismal. Simple had to get two of the individuals coming mid to yes. B, and they were still only able to get one kill on the B bomb site on their own. So, a few problems there, but uh, they do get the round. This is where Na'Vi have no economy and they need to work out how they want to approach this round. For example, I wouldn't be giving the AK-47 to Electronic in his current form. There's only one man on that team who I'd be giving it to, and that is Simple. So they've done the right call here, at least as far as the buy is concerned. But now it's about where are their pieces. Yeah, this is such a difficult round for them. Two MP9s, a FAMAS, a saved AK, and you've got a full buy here. Well done, it fortunately misses out on the initial shot. So back to business as usual here. They'll coordinate their default. It's Nickelback working with the Kinder. Electronic towards short, as we mentioned. He is a fantastic Dust 2 player, but his individual form has been lackluster as of late. The default continues with Pro 100 getting short control here. Most teams will opt for A execution, especially when they know the money's low on the a at CT side, considering that they won't have an orb, the incendiaries to necessarily hold off full execution. So you might see the CTs being a little bit more active in these sort of rounds, just trying to deny some spatial control. They've got massive problems as well. It's two MP9s defending the B bomb site. It's great while they're in B, but if the attack goes on to A, them having to rotate around and have any potency, I don't see it happening. Yeah, good point. Less than a minute now, and we still have five smokes for Pro 100. They came from the School of Blade as well. They know how to operate slowly on Dust 2. We are going to see the initial catwalk smoke down. Remember, they've got four more behind that, so anything is still possible for them. And, well, a kill for the smoke. They'll take that all day long. Five on four, electronic removed, and towards B we go. Remember, it's the MP9s defending it. Chad said, if they go towards B, these can be serviceable, but with the B split coming in, there might be too much pressure. It's going to be a very important frag. Perfecto plays anti-flash and a sketchy first. Flame is the one to find another, but the site is now theirs, and it's likely another save. Nothing simple and Boomage can do with the resources they have left. No, Boomage all the not. way through T-spawn. He's just going to look to contain this. Nickelback's actually oh. going to have his back spotted and spanked. Doable now. So they have got a kit, a couple of flashes, if they do fancy. Coming in towards the tunnels. This kill 
will be indicative as to whether they can actually make this one work. It comes through. Two on one now. And it's going to be a big kill coming in. And he might get the second simple, though, on top of him. And there is time for the defuse here. He has got a kit, so no problem whatsoever. Finds the AWP as well. A huge round there, boys. And after they lost the initial rifles, you wouldn't think there's a chance. But the MP9's getting two. Flamey finding that kill from Team Spawn. There was a chance. And it's converted. Another yeah. huge round, but only one player survives. They have to do it again, though, because you look at the buy right now. Both teams are actually going to be par for the course here. The only outlier will be simple with the saved AWP. So we'll be able to cobble together a buy on both teams. It's not going to be pretty. And maybe that's what we're looking for with uh, some exciting Counter-Strike on the cards here. So you can see the AKs, they are being purchased on up. There's a Galil for Yukanda. Yukinda. Where am I getting the A from? I'm moving the A around in my mind. I didn't know I was dyslexic, but uh, apparently I am. <laughs> we still love you. We'll see the force bike come through from Pro 100 here, and it's going to be AK-47's Galil's one deagle, very fast Whoa. pacing, changing things up here. Simple was looking towards middle. Luckily, Electronics there to find a fantastic shot with the M4, and it looks like the threat has been neutralized. AK-47 still available. Still some heavy lifting to do here, but for now, Dima will have to find both the kills. Not going to happen for him, and now they know exactly who these last two players are. Well done, and Waylander will get a plan out of this as Na'Vi try and keep it as clean as possible, but that's already starting to fall apart. Oh, my goodness, a different universe. He hits that, and we've got a 2v3. Whoa. Electronic not making any mistakes onto World Edit, though. A clean double dink. We have 3-3, three, three, equalized by Na'Vi, and neat and tidy as well. The double kill from Simple, Electronic finding the same. I didn't hate the call, like the, the change up, and if they hit that opening kill, you could see Simple was caught off guard. He only got saved by Electronic there, who was backing him on up, so... Oof, scary one for Na'Vi, but they will recover, and this puts Pro 100 in an interesting position. They have 2,900 in the back pocket, and then they got the bomb down as well. So enough for a half-buy. They could get the pistols out if they wanted to go for something like along those lines. Sure. And uh, it looks to be the case. It's going to be the CZs, Deagles, Tech Nines, Glocks. Here we go. An eclectic mixture of weaponry here, ladies and gentlemen. You're in for a treat in round number seven, and a good B-spawn as well. Now, the B-rushes don't normally... Looks super viable, but the contact plays with a dribble smoke certainly do look very impressive. You get the timing right there, bait out a bit of utility, and can all fall apart for the CT side. We've seen them look quite weak towards the B bomb side so far. Good grenade, though. We'll take nickel back down to 82. Look at this CT sided setup, though, Henry. They have one top of A, one cat, one close mid, and two B. So, with what Pro 100 have planned right now, I'm a little bit scared. Yeah, there's always a chance. These are very difficult to handle, these sort of rounds. You think, yeah, they have less firepower, but. They also have less of a solid foundation in terms of strategy. They're normally operating on gut feelings here, listening up for reload sound cues and simple. Flash towards B, he's trying to set up Perfecto here. Had a lot of footsteps, bombs goes down, second kill found. Should be the round here in general as we find ourselves in a four versus one. Just Dima remaining towards middle. Nothing he can really do with this one. Money okay for Pro 100, but they've now lost four rounds in a row. Well, now Boomage is getting into the spamming of the bodies is, as well, he? aren't they? So, uh... Look, it makes it more entertaining. I want more of it. Let's get a bit of flair in there. We even tried bringing out uh, some of the Zeus's and Niving in our own ESCA game. Sometimes it goes well. Sometimes it makes us look a little bit silly. But uh, that's all in the fun, I suppose. It can do, yeah. Navi on the four and the trot then and starting to build a bank. Another would really secure it. Well, did it brings out the T-side orb looking to shift the tides of battle. This is a very traditional default spread. This is the most traditional default yeah. spread you'll get, right? One upper dark, one lower dark. You've got one palm tree. Well, that it was orping top mid and one outside long. Yeah, just waiting for any sort of CT pushes here. We saw Na'Vi, once they started to get established in the CT side of Inferno, they started pushing, they started getting comfortable. So just looking out for those tendencies right now, Pro 100 to slow things right down. Bear in mind the bombs and T-spawn, so we won't be any sort of heavy commitments towards the middle yet. Just trying to get some basic territory, bait out, bait out the grenades as well if possible as they posture towards middle. Their objective looks to be get up towards shore. As I mentioned, that's the most common execution in this map. You've got mid to B splits or executions via short. And Sendry down for simple, decides to drop off as well, buys him seven seconds to get back towards the A side. Forty-five. Bomb returning to the A side of the map can't be long. He can't take the bomb solo, so he'll be rejoining them short. Wayland has cleared out tons. Could be the A hit, should be the A hit with 35 seconds left. The AWP suddenly losing a lot of its potency on this commitment here. 
smoke. Interesting one as well. Landing for the cross. Very deep. Enables him to drop down, or does it? Because Flamey already catching one. Yekinder on the drop, and Flamey from B has actually caught two prongs of the A Assault. Now Simple caught in transition. He's so in the open. His teammate Electronic does Eight manage seconds. to catch one, and they've not really got time to do anything other than plant. Looks like Dimasik will be allowed to get that one down. So a four and two, not over just yet. The AWP of World Edit, we've seen how powerful it can be. And a nice little swing here from Dima. Of course, we'll be nailing those two kills, but it's not quite enough. And we will have Na'Vi picking up yet another round there. Decent effort though, the bomb going down. Two nice kills there. Three in total from Dima. Manages to make things expensive for Na'Vi, but they can recover the AWP and the AK-47. There's so much you can do with his name if he gets like an ace. Like, because obviously we got fully sick. Yeah. Right? Or Wicked Sick was the one, actually. Wicked Sick. Yeah, he could, he could do a lot there. So let's see if he has any crazy highlights. Oh, okay. That first one from Flamey was a little bit wild, wasn't it? Out of nowhere. Bloody Nora. Great round from Dima Sick. Couldn't quite find the necessary final frag, but all the same, keeping Na'Vi at least a little bit honest. You can see buying in puts Boomich down to the 400 region. Everyone else is pretty set. And in fact, keep pulling out the double orbs. We get to see Flamey on the zoom banger. Yeah, he's been known to pick it up over the years. Secondary AWP for now, and we'll see him presumably work towards the B side of the map. It's going to be Yakinda. He's working towards middle. Waylander did have his vision set towards B, but not for long. Flamey does take him out there, so the double AWP set up working very nicely for now. Doesn't let him dissuade him, though. It's going to be Yakinda moving through towards middle. Nice attempt there, Perfecto more than ready for it. That last gun round we had, Alex, was a picture-perfect round of Counter-Strike from 2015, right? It's good they point. approach a Pro 100 with that default right there, then the way that they hit that site, and almost everything about that l that limp smoke <laughs> yeah. they've gone to B at 40 seconds, everything about, even this play right here, this is some stuff we were still rocking back in the day because on the defaults, it could be very static. Teams now, they do a, a lot more pacey defaults. They're faster down mid. They're doing a lot more pressure on long. So far from Pro 100, it's been... Very old school. Now, Nickelback on the B bomb site, marooned a little bit here, has some backup in the upper tunnels. Flash comes over, but perfect already and waiting. And there's the follow up bomb down, round over. Dimasik at long doors. Nothing he can do. Oh, he could kill Boomich, I he guess. He gets one. Boomich is the long anchor here, but the bomb is down towards tunnels. So round is officially over. It's just whether Dimasik can survive or whether he gets a couple more kills. He'll be in T-spawn, very exposed right now, and decent shot, but unable to convert it. Perfecto with three. The bomb site completely shut down there on the full buy. So yes, maximum loss bonus for Pro 100, but haven't planted in the last couple. So they're down to 3,400. It's a partial buy, as they've only won the pistol and follow-up rounds so far. Six in a row for now. Right though, chat. Very static at the start. Haven't seen many long takes from him so far, just operating in the default manner, trying to execute towards the A site. And we only have one smoke, which has been used to Xbox already. So more of the same here, up towards shore, trying to get the bomb down. All right, same plan. Still worse for wear in the weaponry department. Oh, Simple was holding just the tightest of lines. Nickelback's thigh revealed and... Simple collect. Electronic as well towards middle, finding the first two frags. Na'Vi with a two-man advantage already. These armored pistols not getting them particularly far. Should be another kill over Simple. Goes to the wall and the head of World Edit. And Flamey with that secondary will be bringing up the rear. Demisic has been good for a frag or two. Every single time he's left in this one versus five. Another one picked up there. And the AK-47 thrown away for the AWP. It's a difficult decision to make, but they're one they seem happy to do. So seven in a row now for Na'Vi. Money stabilizing. World edit. We expect a bit more from him on Dust2, right, Chad? He's 3-8 and eight right now. Is there still time for him to show us what he's made of? Yeah, I think so. This is still relatively early in the piece. Pro 100 can even still win this half if they start do turning you, their fortune the other way. Do you still agree that it's kind of a T-sided map as it is right now with the removal of the Krieg? Uh, yeah, I think just. Like, I'm, I'm thinking, you know, like 55 to yeah. 45. It, it, it seems like one of those maps, like, it's historically been pretty even, but sure. with the Krieg there, oh. it seemed to kind of edge things slightly in favor of the terror. So faster pacing here for Pro 100, going for that fast mid split here. And they have been rumbled, but they've got a decent smoke down animal itself to give them a runway up towards the B side here. It will be the first kill for Perfecto. Boomage will get the second. Wasn't expecting Nickelback in such a passive position. Molotov towards the doors. If he gets this, oh, so close. Electronic down to 11, but that was the way in. That was their avenue to uh, Group up, push B together from mid and the tunnels, but instead, ooh, good shot hit by World Edit. 
Softens up simple down to just a measly 22. Dima 6 got a friend now, a companion. He doesn't oh. anymore. A good effort. He seems to know that there's a player here in the corner. It's going to be Dima again. He can win this. This is four rounds in a row. He's been left alone, but it's the greatest chance he's had so far. Low HP on both of these players now, but he does. Need to try and get this bomb down. He snuck outside the double doors, and you can see Simple's behind him, locked him in. So Electronic knows the hunt is on. He's going to be pushing forward here. But the pre-fire, oh, it did look decent, but he doesn't commit to the corner just yet. Now, does he look towards double doors? Or commit here. He's going to get the headshot. If he goes towards A, Simple's and B-Bear in mind. And so the mind games begin. Simple make a lot of noise. Dima wins. There we have it. He finally wins out. Four kills. And uh, that's going to be a fourth on the board as well for Pro 100. Yeah, that's not bad at all, really. He's looked potent, the aims looks fine. Now he's just been presented with a situation that's winnable. And a one on three against Na'Vi with Simple and Electronics still on the board. That's absolutely huge. Gets the AWP. I think he can throw that over to World Edit if he would like to get the big green back on out. And this is where Pro 100 can turn their fates around. As we were saying, it's still a lot of rounds to go within this first half here. You are picking down mid. So they're staying with this change in their default. They're barreling down. They're using the CT side of mid smoke to their advantage, knowing they're not going to get picked. And they've already got cat control with a minute 40 left on the clock. So the potential to pounce is on the cards. And the early smoke will bait out attention and utility. Oh, boosted over the smoke. It looked like he had the advantage, but simple. The smoke and nothing else gave him a good idea. How is he booming? Still alive! He was fully flashed! And they don't check him. He gets the double and the eight. The round is over. Well done, it's added to the tally. That is ridiculous. I want to see that one again. They must have both cleared it and just narrowly avoided him in this week. First guy was team flashed. Oh. Yeah, first guy coming out, out was a little bit early on that flash right there. So he was blind. Then you can oh, see. see that, yeah. So the first guy actually tucked away and that uh, is, well... Wow. That's unfortunate. It's a nasty way to go. You flash the yeah. player close, you both come out, you're calling it clear, and just like that, your names start filling the feed. It was looking so promising for them, but it will be yet another round for Na'Vi. Bear in mind, Pro 100 won the pistol, got a 3-0 start. They've had a single gun round since then, but oh. a great shot. And there's no doubt in my mind he's going to hit that one. A lot of confidence behind this kid. The Kinder will be finding an M4 now. They do have a partial buy behind this, but only an HE and a flashbang to speak of. M4 now available. Can they do anything with it? Avoiding the damage for now. Up towards short they go. Very quick pace on this one. And it will be simple to remove the rifle at least. Oh, that was his chance to take the second rifle out. It's still Dima sick on it, but he's lost everyone. In fact, Dima's gone down too. So now just Waylander. He's the B player. Perfecto knows it. And no bomb on his back. So he can't really contribute anything. He's just going to hope that the duel comes one by one. Let's do a bit of a quiz. I'm going to quiz you guys. Yeah, go Name on. Name the flip side players that you remember. We'll we'll, uh, we'll go one at a time. Okay, Blade. All right, you can take Blade. Alex? Waylander. Yep. Henry? World well Edit. Yep. Okay, more flip side gamers. There's another one in the server right now. There's two, actually, there's two. Um, Electronic? Yep. There Henry. we go. Nice work. Um, oh, goodness. Simple's done it before. Yep. There we go. Simple's All right, now we're, getting to the, now we're getting to the exotic picks. Exotic flip Fell side off a gamers. stage. Fell off a stage? Yep. Semler? <laughs> was a player, Alex. <laughs> oh, Ukrainian. <laughs> oh, um, I know you mean. I just can't remember for the... Who fell off with an stage? S. Starix. Second letter, H. Shira. Shara. 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 There we go. Henry Shara. Gear. Got it. There we go. Yeah, All right. Course. I remember uh, it now. All right. We got uh, an Orpa from 1.6. Uh, Markloff. That's the one. Of course. That was a good one. All right. Um, Anyone else we're missing? Yeah, there's a bunch more. This is um, a good quiz. I like this You one. like this quiz? Yeah, yeah. the history All right. The, the guy that you were talking about just yesterday, you liked his name. Um, you, they're, they're, you put him in your mouth. <laughs> the look of sweet. confusion on like his face, the panic. <laughs> we were talking about Speedac not being Speed 4K. Because of Lollipop. There we go. Lollipop was in Flipside as well. Lollipop 2K was in there. Yeah. There's big. There, there's more, but we'll stop. Let's please. Let's stop. Because this is getting out of hand. It's getting out of hand now. Lo Flipside and Blade have definitely been through the CIS scene. And uh, Pro 100, another product of that. Na'Vi, of course, currently with their coach Blade behind them. The team that in the old system of the majors had no issue showing up just for that major system would always be do enough to keep their name 
and their stickers in the game. There was a bit of a blip on the radar there for, I think it was uh, three or four? Cache against an Australian team. Oh. I think the scoreline was 16-3. 16-3, three, three, no less. I think they absolutely battered. I reckon their in-game leader was making some good calls. Probably. Throughout. Probably some good kills too, because usually when the, their in-game leader got kills, maybe they'll win a game. Um, but let's get this one back underway, because the score is 9-4. to four. The AWP is back out. The double AWP on the CT side still stands. Flamey doing his best to pull that one out, but oh, up close short. Ooh. Simple gets the leg. He's not able to convert. Two quick kills. We've changed the pace. They're out long. It's a fast A split here. Interesting. How does this one finish off? The Molotov will force World Edit to respect it. Oh my goodness. It was actually Nickelback who got licked by the flame down to one from six. Oof, madness. This is a very, very tense round here. Electronic, the only one that can do anything about this at this stage. It is going to be a four versus two, but there's still a chance Perfecto can bring this one in their favor. It will need some sort of assistance from Flamey here. We'll go for the big swing in a second towards the A ramp. There's a player planting in front of him as he pulls one back. That's Demasic. And now Perfecto waiting for what? Flamey to join in. It's going to be Yakin that offers himself up, but Nickelback will bring the kill towards them. So two orbs to defend at this point. It's actually three orbs in this particular encounter. You don't see this too often. A deagle shot would be enough to get the kill, especially if it's on the head. And now he knows he's towards Goose as well. And it's World Edit to hit the all-important shot there. It felt like it fell apart. What was that jump on the A side about? Yeah, yeah that I, was the baffling one. What was he doing up there? He knew that Perfecto was close, right? Because he just got a kill. So maybe the communication wasn't on point right there for Pro 100, but they're still able to land the round. So going into the final round here of the first half, the loss bonus situation for Na'Vi will have been reset to 1400 just based off of the spree of rounds that they've been on but they'll be able to get the buy together you can just see a famous in the hands of boomich right there everybody else has all the goodies they need the double op is able to be plied once more let's see if they can stop this faster attack from pro 100 we have three individuals close up the tunnels now oh well dead under simple he's gone down twice in a row he knows the li the lines he needs to hold and catches the boost Right out of the gates. That's a big start. Boomich, however, does manage to catch the AWPA to keep things level. That FAMAS from Boomich does a whole lot. We should just observe the... I wish we could just observe with Ekra all the time. It'd be so sick. You like that? I love it because it's just showing you what the players can actually see, which is... Half the time, nothing. Oof, well, Flamey now will be nailing this shot towards Ikindo. He seems to be very up for these fights. He's always been thrown in first and most of the time converts the kill. But this is the final round of this first half now. And Flamey looks solid as a rock here on the A side. A couple of players in front of him. We'll see where he can finally convert. That's going to be Nickelback taken out. Four versus two now as Demisic and Waylander. 40 seconds waiting for the mistakes to come through. And they normally do. And RB will be dropping another player at this point. The A split actually looking viable. As now we've got Boomich with a FAMAS holding towards double doors in middle. 30 seconds remain. This is the kill that could decide the round. 20 points of health. Advantage Pro 100. Oh, B's open now. They know where Flamey is. That's still a shot, right? Yeah, and then they're coming straight towards him. He gets the fight he was waiting oh. for. They trade off him. It'll be nine. A second map, and it is dust two. We've seen Simple and Flamey deliver at the top of the scoreboard so far. Dima Sick joining Yekinder is the two names that are most impressing us from the Pro 100 troop. But now it's their second half of the second map, and well, it could very well be the last of this series. Na'Vi have been holding quite a convincing lead throughout. They have, but Pro 100 have been pretty decent in the pistol rounds, bear in mind. So we'll see if they can convert here in the second half. We have seen a lot from Demisic. 18 kills to his name. He's won out in some big clutches as well. The 1v3 comes to mind from the first half. Yekindep always showing us how confident he is in his own ability. Pushing off towards short once again. Presence towards lower. And they'll let it be known. They'll be spamming through those smokes. They've got one for CD spawn themselves on the back of Perfecto. He's also got the bomb. Currently resides top of middle. Oh. <laughs> he saw someone. He knows there's an arm towards Xbox. There's a whole lot more than just an arm. In fact, four members of Na'Vi are taking that short control back off of them. There is a smoke and a flash on Perfecto. What's his intentions for that? Looks like he could be deploying them now. In fact, yep, smoke's flying through. We'll block off CT. A flash and an electronic dropping to clear CT. They're going for the mid-B split. This yeah, is this nice. Is really nice. Yeah, electronic now can hold up the rotations. As you can see, boys, that's not bad at all. Nickelback is going to have to be one hell of a performance there. No kills found so far. One versus five. Demisig left alone once again. I don't think he'll be clubs in this one out.
holding onto his armor. And that's going to be a beautiful little strategy there. Getting Electronic down just as they're committing through the mid doors. There's nothing the CTs could do. They have to push through and try and trade out the kill, but he gets both. Simple cracks open the B site, and jobs are good. You see how like procedural that was? You know, take lower. Okay, clear out mid. Make sure there's nobody in the smoke. We don't want to take any risks. Now we take Cat as a team. Then as soon as they have Cat, they are well aware that the CTs will be playing passive on that site, right? Of course, that's going to be the port of call. They've already been challenged in middle. They've already had a little bit of action on that short position, and they were making it look like it was going to be a standard A piece. But this is something that we see from Na'Vi quite a lot. It's not normally Electronic as the one dropping into the smoke to mess around in the spawn. It'll be Boomage. He even does one where they go out mid to B and he walks into CT spawn. So they do love forcing the CTs to have a tougher point of rotation here. And you can just see how difficult it is. Gray screen into a man with a Glock who's ready and raring to go. So great stuff from Na'Vi here. Yeah, excellent work, but there will be a force buy and return. Pretty much a carbon copy of what Na'Vi presented in their second. Didn't work out for them. Can Pro 100 have a better go at it? Two scouts and they've got three Desert Eagles as well. And AK-47s and get a little available for Na'Vi. Perfect with the long spawn, he'll take it. And looking out for the flashbangs here. No real long presence from the CTs, but now detected. Well, that it will pull back with his scout. So this is the Na'Vi. They're doing the Na'Vi on the first round. They have the guns on board. And if World Edit can stop them at the corner here, they're unable to get away with their normal shenanigans. There's actually two individuals tucked on in here. So if World Edit goes down, they might not try and clear the position. His role may just be to stand and fight. He's trying to get away. Will he be caught on the corner? The flashes and nades come through. So now it's damage on his teammate. That might be enough. That might be enough to bait them away from clearing out that car position. This could be huge. He made sure the scout was seen. And still nothing spotted. This is Yakinda's chance. He wants them to be fully walked up. When does he choose to reveal? It'll be on the commit, I imagine. Completely unchecked. 46 health. Oof. It's scary. This and he might get away with it as well. No one's checking it right now. Boomer will be the first up on the chopping block, but two kills found for Na'Vi here. They are doing a great job. Fantastic work. And play me, he confirms a victory. There was a split second that looked like triple kill when that Desert Eagle was coming through. But only one connects, and then he take one casualty. So... That's going to be Wayland is saving the scout. Eco coming up next. Now I'll be a fan 11. That looked like we just avoided yep. a car crash. You know, that, that's what that felt like right there. Could have gone so wrong so quickly. I thought that was very well done from Pro 100 to bait that in. I actually wanted World Edit to go down in the car position just to guarantee there'd be no chance they'd be worried about it. But he did do enough. Just unfortunate with the way that that cross landed. They went wide and, well, he got caught off with a bit of a unlucky timing. If Waylander holds on to this scout, that's not the worst thing in the world. They can try and do a little bit of damage with it. We've seen the CTs when they pick up a single flash and the USPs on other maps looking potent. But I'm making a stretch right now for all the viewers at home because I think that this one, uh, we can start to put a bit of a bow on it. Na okay, Vee so I'll looking... get the ribbon out. Yeah, Na'Vi are looking like they've settled into this game now. So, you know, I had some worries about Electronic. He's had a couple of good rounds now. Flamey is playing some of the best Counter-Strike I have seen from him since Katowice. So we are... At least getting more out of the Na'Vi, more of what we wanted. Yeah. That's a good point. This is looking much more promising in that respect, but uh, still a lot of work to do here on the battlefield of Dust 2. They'll save the scout, a double HE set up on the CT side, and the match will be paused. Now, this looks to be technical more than tactical. So we'll just work out the issues here. Green, have you got an update for us? What's going on out there? It uh, looks like a TeamSpeak issue. It's oh, already resolved. A bit of a classic and, already, um, already resolved. Yeah, it will be going down live in, uh, I believe it's going to be 17, no, 16 seconds, I think. How many? Uh, I think more like around now, maybe like 12. Well, count us in, Rush. I know you've done some executive producing before. Uh, yeah, guys, uh, game's looking good. It's going to go live in five, four, three, two, one, and you're live. Hello and welcome back. <laughs> Na'Vi Pro 100, and it's round 18. Thank you very much to our producer there, and a good tag to start things off. The proceedings positive for the CTs as they do charge up middle, two of them. Fancy in their chances, and Nickelback's won the duel on long. This one could end pretty damn quick. Yeah, it should do. It's Yekinder, and we've got Waylander as well. They'll be pulling one back. You can see a little bit too loose here from Na'Vi. It could get a bit dicey. Now, that's towards long. They've got to deal with a P250 and a scout, to be fair. But Waylander, smoke if he hits a quick headshot, you, you never know. There could be a boost coming in as well. Look at the smoke on the radar. 
Look, it's next to the Navi logo in the top left. I've never seen that before. It's, it's gone so map. far off the map, it's, it's broken the HUD. Yeah, it's... That's true. I've never seen that either. <laughs> no, he actually hit that shot onto Boomich while flying. Then they could he get wins. another one. Could win. Yekinda could genuinely win this. Oh! If he hits that shot, and he has for Boomich leaping around with the MAC-10, saves Navi from red faces. He hits the high HP player in the head as well. That was wild. If he wins that round, I dare say Navi would crumble. It is going to be 12-6. They get through by the skin of their teeth, but that was scary. Uh, the missed smoke and uh, over-aggressive players, they always seem to take a lapse of concentration when the chips are down. Na'Vi needs to make sure they keep their eye on the prize. So, AK-47 is here. Flamey on the main orb. He's got the long spawn. Makes sense. Don't be the initial pick as Waylander is tagged for the doors by the AK-47. Spots one at the corner and it converts the shot. Very calm for Flamey. Takes minimal damage and... Boomer to receive a lot more, four and four. Such a good game for Flamey right now. 21 kills to his name. He is actually playing fantastically here. And we did highlight some worries for old Flame Dogger coming into today. The response is coming out. Waylander going walk about looking for a little bit of information. Has a teammate in tow. So they will get upper tunnels for free. And this is the classic Na'Vi yet again. So they have long control. We've got one watching over towards the B site. The Kinder, he wants to say something about this. He wants to get involved. Whoa, I didn't even get to go around the corner. Simple just pulled the trigger straight through the smoke. And advantage returns for Na'Vi. No rush. It seems very clear that they don't plan to push out along just yet. Waylander, he's got quite the opposite, though. He's actually locked them in. Well, we talked about this in the pregame. Na'Vi are more than comfortable having full long controls. They will, they'll be aware the CTs have information of this as well, but this is the problem. How do you shut this approach down? Not many teams have cracked the case as it were. Well, they're dead. Oh, he's gonna be in a lot of trouble here. Both kills found. There will be a backstab, bear in mind, from Waylander. I wouldn't be going for this. Surely someone's be looking towards long momentarily. That'll be simple. Good timing, but unfortunately he hits the shot. Down to two HP, 13-6. Money in the bin here, boys. It's really in, I mean, it's in the recycling bin, maybe 3.5. The recycling bin, yeah. It's, it's something in there to it. Yeah, it's not, that's like not a bad thing. Actually, that's not a bad name. Team. But that's not a bad name for this <laughs> amount of money, right? Because it's it's like rinse and repeat when you get stuck into this point that the CTs are. So you you buy and you lose the round with the max loss bonus, meaning you're going to get 3,400 every time. And we've, sp we've spoken about this at length. You can't guarantee a decent CT side of buy with $3,400 ooze. No. And those dollary dudes could get pulled out of them very quickly. Look at how far back Perfecto's holding tons. This is one of my deathmatch angles, boys. This is where I uh, hit the headies. I get the plan is so they can force this rotation, but look at the minimap. Uh, Na'Vi, they're rotating back over towards Long now. This might be heard. Perfecto, you know you heard something here. Electronic even knows something's up. This overlap could be the undoing of Na'Vi in this round. He's going to get timinged. Yekinder, awkward miss. Target was in transit, and it can be difficult to keep across their right. Five versus four, then. It's going to be even more difficult for Pro 100 to overcome. Flamey is going to be set up into the site mantling as well with the suppressing shots all connecting. It's only left to nickel back. What can you do with this one, chaps? I'm not sure much at all. It's looking far too good for Na'Vi. And Co is just a partial buy from Pro 100. It's going to be 14-6, but maybe he can steal away an AK. He'll certainly wait around and see what's available to him. Flashbang in the face, kick things off. He'll have another peek in a second. Electronic will be there. Should be the end of him. Boomage might be to the punch. Dink towards Electronic. So a decent effort there, but 14-6. Money still pretty low, for, especially for Dima. He'll be down to 3,900, but they do have a chance for double orb here. I have a fun one for you. Oh, I like fun. So you guys call it Dink, right? Yeah. Yeah. In Australia, we used to call it Bink. A bink. You binked him. Yeah. I binked him. And then I think I've converted to dinking <laughs> yeah, since I've been living in Europe. If you started saying, I'm glad cash is not in the map pool or binking. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you. that's what we used to call it. I've been away from home for that long now, but I'm 99% sure. I'm sure I'll get a bunch of tweets coming okay. my way soon. I'm going to start bringing in some micro yeah. Oh, the Ooh. bink from Nickelback there. <laughs> we'll be opening things up. Lovely work, the AWP. And you know what they say, Henry? Binking leads to bonking. <laughs> binking and they in the do brain. look screwed. <laughs> Thinking. That's that's cheered me up. I've never heard that before. Yeah, thank you. Not Chad. sure it even exists, not sure Chad does. It's real, he... it's real. Okay. And Dima, he is lighting them up there towards short. There's the chance of a second kill with Perfecto. He does significant damage to Waylander, but still man advances with CTs. Good grenade towards short. So on their feet now, the double orb setup. Is it gonna be enough? They have the man advantage for now.
Wait till you heard what we call an ace. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's safe to ask. It's, yeah, I mean, back. even when he was offering the, uh, the Australian <laughs> dink, I was scared. But uh, now with the smoke executes towards A, Molotov's for the site and Goose, it's Thora. Oh, oh, but in the flash, Perfecto does present himself. And well, they're connecting. So now we've got Electronic and Flamey looking to finish this one off. Doesn't look like this will be the round. And well, that it confirms it. Lovely con connection and four left standing as well. Money very strong there for Navi. Shouldn't be a problem purchasing into this round. Let's have a look at the Nickelback oh. initial pick. Very fast there, as you can see. Just didn't see that one coming. Two more rounds now for Navi would be enough. That it's never usually that easy. AK-47's found on the CT side. We'll see that confidence start to build up for your kinder again. And a drop down from the T-side. Make no way towards shore. Symbols of Raptors off a shot with the AWP. And it looks like the CTs might fancy a little swing here. Well, that flirts with the idea. Spots one toward the double doors, but still remains for the fight now. HE grenades start to peel away. And as I mentioned, that confidence from the CT there is short is looking very promising. But Nickelback goes down. Waylander two. We might have found round number 15, but it's the AWP towards window right now. It's going to be well dead at trying to defend, but the flashbang is spot on. Couldn't be better, but oh. yeah, Kinda is. That is phenomenal shots towards Perfecto at the end there. He needs a third and gets the chance he's been hoping for. Demasit combined does set them up for success. Simple takes an ambitious fight, wants to try and take the advantage before the bomb goes down, and now they're crossing towards him. Electronic wants to support. Yeah, he's quite far away, though. If they go for a quick pounce, they're in a lot of trouble. And indeed they have, and it's going to be them what? running past Simple. What's just happened there? I couldn't <laughs> tell you. So a lot of people would be questioning why Simple went for the window pick after Perfecto went down doors. He needed to kind of swat them away like a fly to allow Electronic enough time to get in a position yeah. to help. Then when all the nades come in, he's played close to the doors in the smoke because if they run into the site and they kill Simple, that's round done and dusted. He knew that he needed to stay alive for as long as possible. So staying on the cusp, staying on the edge of the smoke he bought himself enough time to stay alive and that was all they needed to put 15 on the board here so a round that looked good in the start and once again Yakinda, we're talking about this kid the multi-kill potential is sick yeah he is very impressive to say the least but i don't think Narby will close it out just yet it looks like boomage has taken considerable damage not quite turned into a kill just yet he still remains on 2 hp Ooh. in towards b we go waylander he is looking uncomfortable here but the first kill is his can't nail the second boomage low hp taken down elsewhere double up set up on this retake now and the wall bank doesn't connect well that it knows he needs to find a kill tunnels will be an issue here the flanks coming in from Yakinda. And yeah. with two players behind him, it could be enough. It's going to be difficult. Yeah, you mentioned the double ult retake already. No kits either. Oh, Three of them point. coming from tunnels. No grenades in this one. So the flash could be really huge if a flame. If he swings out on this one, Wayland has got a chance. And it's well dead, in fact. So three players towards tunnel now. This looks like a nightmare. Yeah, that smoke's perfect, actually. You can just sit behind it, and he's got all of them lined up in the smoke. They go down. It's 